Some New York City restaurant owners say they've been left shocked by the recent Con Ed bills. They say the cost skyrocketed without warning. One owner tells us his bill went up more than 300% over last year. Wow, it's just another blow to many restaurants struggling to make ends meet during the pandemic. Linda Schmidt has the story. For us, it was just crazy. Massimo Lavelia owns Linda Street Pizzeria in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. In December, his Con Edison bill was about $2,200. Last month, it skyrocketed to more than $4,600 without any warning. Like, I, I was super upset because, like, company like Con Edison, they should be able to to figure it out in advance the price of the rate and tell the customer. In Woodside, Queens, the owner of the brewery bar and kitchen says his bill last month was 313% higher than in January of 2020 in an industry that has been crippled by the pandemic. It's, it's another blow to us. It's another nail in our coffin. Con Ed has said it is not to blame because the utility does not generate electricity and cannot control suppliers' costs. However, the company is reviewing its procedures, including our energy buying practices, the tools we use to reduce supply price volatility, the way we communicate changes in supply prices, and our programs to help customers who who have fallen behind on their bills. It's absolutely ludicrous in our current crisis to do this to the consumers. State Assembly member Emily Gallagher represents Greenpoint and Williamsburg, Brooklyn. She says the bigger issue is that New York State is not allowed to produce its own energy, which she says must change and it would lead to lower utility bills. We really need to see this for what it is, which is a broken energy system that we can actually fix within our state. We're all running in the red right now on a weekly basis. It's how long can we continue like this? In Woodside, Queens, Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.